Um, oops. Once again, I forgot to uh, put my face on <laughs> before turning the music down. Uh. Whoops. Ah. You know what, today I think we're going to jazz things up just a bit, just a little bit. It is uh, Sunday, July 10th, 2022. <laughs> Graffiti's glasses. Graffiti's glasses. Thank you, Monday. Thank you. It's uh, Sunday, July 10th, 2022. It's 12:42 p.m. My time zone. How were you? How were you like prepared for that? How did you? How were you prepared to send that? Like the second that I came on. <laughs> um, hope you are all. Hope you are all doing well today. Uh, welcome to Emily, Monday, Ellie, Augersley, uh, Leica, Keladon, Mage, Farmsteads, Inkuna, uh, Declan, Eight Lives, and Drop, Musui, welcome. You said jazz it up and I just took the shot. <laughs> well, precognitive dog, predognitive. Welcome everyone. No, we're not playing Leisure Suit Larry Drop. That'll never fucking happen. You play that. You play it if you like it so much. You runt. Ah. Okay, I play it. Good. Very good. <laughs> Monday glasses gambit. Glambit. Well, hope you're all having a nice Sunday. The Lord's Day. Well, I uh, don't know why I made that sound. A little more grook. I played Garage. It gets interesting. I mean, it seems like it will be interesting from the jump. I don't want to know anything about it, though. I don't know anything about it, and I don't want to know anything about it. I want to go in and just figure, find my way around. I don't really know... Um, much about it really this is about the uk club scene in the 90s oh <laughs> of course i don't really know much about it seems to be um murky kind of like very odd ugly sort of game quote unquote ugly it's been a while since i played so if you ever need help i can try to that will be sh sh okay you don't have to be completely quiet Look forward to the sequel, Dubstep. Oh, I get it. In England, they say garage. Yes. I always remember I was listening to this. This was like over a decade ago. This is probably like 2009. I was listening to like a stand-up routine by this British comedian named Stuart Lee. And he said like, I ate mainly crisps from the garage. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you talking like that? No, no, I mean like spoilerish. Can't wait to see your reaction to this stuff, this stuff. Oh, okay. I don't know jack shit about Garage. Excited to see. I think that there was a translated port of it uh, out on iOS and maybe Android. I'm not sure for uh, a while now, but this just came to PC on Friday. And since Augersley gave me $50 the other day, why did you do that, Augersley? Thank you, but what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I, I can I can feel alright about buying a game at full price. Oh Benji. Sad peen adventure. Oh. It was funny. It was comedic, was it? You didn't buy $50 of pizza. Oh don't be don't be upset. Oh. 
Stuart Lee is good in like a bad way. In a good bad way. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I do always think about when he said that he read a review in the paper that said that he looked like a crumpled Morrissey, which he does. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I don't, I'm not really big on like stand-up comedy at this point in my life though, but I guess the replacement for that is like when, when I was moving and I was just listening to like Jello Biafra spoken word albums on my phone really loud. It's just him like his paranoid ramblings. <laughs> What? No! <laughs> no! You get a pizza, Ilya what Stare. The, what the fuck, Ilya? <laughs> Why are you doing this? No! <laughs> Thank you, but what the hell? No! Hi, <laughs> uh, <high> rival, also. <laughs> what the hell? Guys, don't give me $50. No. They're going for the 100k bits emote, Oomphy. I guess I gotta... I gotta figure that out. We want you to get at the pizza. Okay. No! <laughs> Stop! Get a soda too. <laughs> no! Thank you. Oh my god. Why? Why are you guys giving me this? No! Uh. Here's some change if you need it. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, the 100k emote should be crappy eating pizza. <laughs> Bit. Bit. That dog. Well, thank you guys. Uh, I've never had a bit. Bit. You're doing bits all the time, bit G. Graffy 29 tummy. Yes. Graffy 29 popcorn. Chilled by one Tootsie Roll with one bit. Those are good. I feel like they're probably not a very popular candy anymore, but I like them. Da. I love his Ratko Meladic bit. I don't even know what that is. Is Wamurai of the Samurai dropped? No, we'll probably get around to it eventually. It added new content, and to think that this game was basically lost media until recently. Yeah, you know... I, uh, I saw a post from Melt Banana. The band Melt Banana has a Patreon in this day and age, which is kind of odd, but um, I have subscribed to them on there. <laughs> and they posted about Garage like last night. <laughs> they made a post about it and they were like, this is one of the three distorted games of Japanese like gaming. And one of the other ones was uh, Kowloon's Gate and the other was Baroque. I don't know what they mean by distorted games, but I don't know. They were talking about it. Subscribe to the Melt Banana Patreon despite them not having released an album since 2003. Yeah, it was a really good album. They do post like cool stuff like uh, nicely edited videos of like walking around in like graveyards or like ringtones that Agata made with his guitar. <laughs> that are like extremely like stress inducing <laughs> ringtones um not heard melt banana since high school yeah that's when i found out about them and i was a fan from the jump i heard some of uh i remember someone from online just sent me like a song from cellscape or something or maybe i found them on skin graft records when i was like a teenager and i was like <gasps> and then I don't know, I like them ever since. I have no idea who these people are. They're like a Japanese, like, noise rock bands. They have cool sounds. Cool singer. What a reaction. Do it again. <laughs> no! <laughs> the three distorted games. Melody three flushed. Also very good emotes. My husband says I can't sleep at 3 p.m. so I can chat. Why not? What? Happy Big Sis Sunday. See if you can get a dip too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. Blah. That is the reaction that 
Linda One Cherno expresses. Yes. Yes. It's Sunday? Ilya, you can't possibly be this damn foolish. This is gonna turn into the girl who cried wolf. And then, when you're really, like, really confused, we won't believe you anymore. And then you'll be lost. You'll be lost downtown. You won't be able to find a bus back home. You won't be able to get out. You'll be stuck in, like, a maze of, like, I don't know, some kind of evil guy who built a maze in an abandoned building and put you in it. You'll be trying to DM us. Guys, I can't get out of here. No, Ilya, we don't believe it anymore. I have 100k points. How do I make you play Urban Yeti 2? Is there an Urban Yeti 2? She will be stuck in Bizarro Elf's Hall of Mirrors. She will never get out of there. She will think every every reflection is a real Ilya. No, I lied, but you believed me as usual. Yeah, because you're so persuasive. Everything that you say is so believable, Drop. <laughs> uh, well, the music ended. I guess that means that we play games now. Uh, it seems that this game has been ported to Unity. And um, it doesn't have window mode by default, unfortunately. I had to use Alt-Enter. I'm glad that that's possible, at least. I do wish that it had 4x3 support, but them's the breaks. <laughs> I cannot stop hiccuping and burping, God damn it! Let me get down here in the corner. Alright, let's get this open. It should just automatically start capturing it. Capture? Yeah, there we go. Kinotrope. Uh, I think that by default the audio might be kind of like broken, so you have to reset it <laughs> every time. Um, there's not much in the way of options, but I mean I guess with a point and click game you don't really need much. <clears throat> Bad allergies today, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, Discord button was definitely a port of the, the 2020s. Um, streamer, did I ever tell you about the time I spontaneously combusted? Wow, really? Augursly? You really did that? Yes, fishing. We'll look at the manual controls first. We have our status. Shows clues. Clues? I don't know. Uh, body condition, modification level. Again, I don't know what modification level even refers to. And state of progress. Tool. List of items you possess. Uh, map shows current location. Places visited, fishing spots, and bottle trap spots are marked. Bottle trap. Zoomable. Stamp. Don't know what that is. Seems like it might be like money or something. Meter. Shows how much time has elapsed. Ego level, power that lets you be you. You'll fall apart if you lose it all. Recoverable at e ego clinic, etc. Yeah, you know. Everybody, we don't even need to elaborate. You know, the other options other than the ego clinic to recover your ego. Fuel, fuel you need for moving. You'll fall apart if it becomes zero. Recoverable at milky fuel station, etc. Uh, dialogue log, keeps a log of important conversations and game menu. This game is so funny. I like it. I'm liking I'm liking just even even based on that. Um Power that lets you be you. The Duke meter. Oh yeah, we also need to look at the fishing manual. Apparently there's fishing in this game. They have indicator. This pointer moves and the bait is bitten. Hook the frog by touching the reel handle on the right. Once you hook it, the control Control the handle so that the pointer doesn't enter the red zones. Tension gauge, you'll lose the frog if the indicator enters the red danger zones on the top and bottom. Catch the frog by controlling the reel so that the pointer doesn't enter the danger zone. Life gauge, it's the frog's life gauge. You'll be able to catch the frog by reeling it in until the gauge disappears. Reel, move the handle down to reel in the line and move it up to loosen it. You can reel in the frog if the handle is lower than the middle. Reel the line in successfully so that you don't lose the frog. Alright, so we'll be fishing for frogs. <laughs> Just 
like Guilty Gear. I'm not familiar with Guilty Gear, really. Join the Discord. Click it. No. Why would you even want to join a Discord for this game? Is that what people do? Is that what Zoomers do? Like, who does that? The Duke meter. All right. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but uh, start the game. Yeah, I, I I started earlier to just check if it worked all right, and it does. This is Garage. Please sit there. All right, that will be fine. Is that us? You may experience severe dizziness at first, but please bear with it. Um, your name? Yes, Mr. Young. Well, Mr. Young, are you ready? Are you worried? You'll be fine. Trust Garage. I trust Garage. You should be able to get what you desire. Oh. What would that be? Sneakers. My... Sneakers. Whoa. Yeah. Your room. Let's see. Not a big fan of the new menu. The OG had a pretty nice looking menu. Yeah, it's, I mean, I would like if remasters of games left it as untouched as possible generally, but nah. This is, uh, too bad. She beat the game off stream, get her ass. No, 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 no. I'm having a chocolate mousse. Yum. Chocolate mouse. <laughs> Sneakers on the Xbox. Uh, menu. Alright, so we're in our room. There's just this, which turns on the light. Uh, I gotta say, this game looks incredible. Like, something about just, like, the look... The fact that this sprite in the mirror is so much lower resolution than everything else has got like a particularly interesting kind of look to it. There's a bunch of stuff flashing. I am very, very grateful that the things that we can interact with are flashing because a lot of point and click games don't do this. I might be able to find my shadow if I ask Psyche. Okay, we got Shun's memo number one. Are we not allowed to open the floodgates? We got Shun's memo number three. Remember to ask Lao where he is. Chun's memo number four. If I can't find my shadow, everything would be over. I'll have to live in my past forever. Shun's memo number five. And some other paper. To you, who has awoken in this room. It's good that you're awake. You were floating in the sewage water. You drifted in front of my house just when I was leaving. Since your ego level was very low, I tried to recover you, but you were unconscious and rejected it. After you have read this letter, go see a machine named Hajime. He lives in the house to your right. He will tell you about the ego clinic. You'll be able to recover your ego level there. And if possible, get out of this indecent world. This world is not right. Find your shadow. Everything will start from there. Shun. Okay. One more thing. Feel free to use the bottle trap in the room. You won't get anywhere in this world unless you set a bottle trap on a winch and catch a crab first. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows this. The most basic fact of the world. You can't get anywhere without setting a bottle trap on a winch and catching a crab. I'm assuming this is the bottle trap? Milky fuel station stamp. Okay, so the stamps are for the fuel station. This is us, I guess? We're this like freakish mega, ma mega mind guy? Aerial font.
It's the pinnacle of the Newgrounds Flash game art style. It does kind of remind me of that, of like, uh, what is that game, Ex Mortis or something? The fan translation had a better font. Yeah, it's, you know, just very plain, just sans serif font. Oh, expedited delivery. You keep bringing up Megamind. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> why not? You didn't bring your crab. I'm sorry, Ilya. Michuba. Ex Mortis. I can barely remember that game. Ex Mortis. Mr. Vulcanero, please fix this. You got broken music box in Chun's memo number two. Okay. Uh, what is this? Do you want to keep a record? So this is where we save our game. You can't record because your ego level is too low. Oh. <laughs> so... So that's how it is. Wow, we got all kind of fucking items here. Alright, we just backed away. Yeah, I think I see rails. I think that our character can only move on rails. For some reason. You got Bottle Trap S. Got Portable Milky Fuel. And this? What is this? Like a hacksaw? Fishing pole. I see. Um, this? Wow, nice animation. Well. Oh. Well, there's no way that we're going to get this by brute forcing. <clears throat> this game looks awesome! Whoops, I didn't mean to go there. Alright, so now we know these are indicating like relative to like the camera view where you're going to move. This or The original game did not have this glowing from the looks of it. Well, that's good, because I wouldn't like... Uh, Having to click on everything until I find something that's, uh, that, that I can actually take. Oh my god, it's so grotesque. Our guy? Hold on a second. I need to get a, uh, no, maybe this is, maybe this is suitable. <sighs> I'm being fussy about my temperature as usual. Apparently in the fan translation, the Ego Clinic is the Identity Hall. That's kind of fun. Um, so the note said that Hajime lives to our right, but I guess, does that mean right as we are coming out on the rail? Let's try going this way. You know, part of the reason that- okay, yeah, we already saw this before. Part of the reason that I was so interested in uh, playing this right now is because it, it kind of- in a way, it reminds me of Mad God, which we watched uh, a few weeks ago. Cool music. How's the audio so far? This is an enemy guy. Kill him. The game is a little loud? Now that the music happened, it looks really quiet. I mean, it. <laughs> someone else is saying that it's a bit low. Audio good to me. I think it's fine. Like, uh, the, the, the peaking of the music is, like, not anywhere near being very loud. It's fine. Audio is perfectly fine. The music is, like, just audible. Hmm. Like, it looks very quiet on the mixer. Is this Hajime? Hey. How's it going? Hey, your word lost. Your ego level is low. You'd better get it fixed right away. Go to the ego clinic. Your word lost. What? To get there, go past your house and you'll find the carousel. The ego clinic is across from the carousel. Ask the mail machine at the reception. He'll help you. Thank you. Rapke will never stop, t stop trusting peak meters. I mean, they 
They give you an idea of like how loud stuff is. That's me, by the way. Hi. Oh, hi. Starting to think this translation might not be very good. I don't know. You want to set a bottle trap? Oh, yeah. We need to set a bottle trap for a crab. No baits? Empty. Maybe we come back when we have bait? So we have to go back? Uh... Why can't we go back to our house now? Does he have little sneakers on? I don't know, I think they're like treads or something. Maybe our guy is looking for sneakers so he can get off these rails. Okay. So... Go this way? Oh, the Eco Clinic. Okay, outer track. We have a speech bubble? Oh, hello. The Eco Clinic. Your word lost. Do you want to fix it? Do you have the Milky Fuel Station stamp? You need 50 stamps to use the carousel and 20 stamps for the Ego Recovering Machine. What will it be? Uh, the Ego Recovering Machine? Well, it looks like a description, actually. Wow, what an interface. <laughs> uh, carousel. It is a machine used to recover Ego level. Its official name is Rotary Type Treatment Machine, but everyone calls it Carousel. I don't know what carousel means, but before I knew it, everyone started calling it carousel. It recovers your ego level by using music and mechanical vibration. I see. Ego recovering machine. It's a machine used to recover your ego level. It recovers your ego level by using a special liquid called ego recovering liquid. <laughs> um. So, carousel and ego recovering machine are two separate machines, even though they both seem to recover your ego? <laughs> <laughs> Extremely masculine machine, this guy. Ego recovering liquid is monster, yes. Because it gives you anxiety. You get too much ego. I am word lost. I would like to fix it. Do you see the red and blue linear gauges on your body? The red one shows your ego level. Ego level indicates how much you are yourself. For example, in my case, various parts are gathered together to shape me, Gimnen. If my ego becomes low, Gimnen becomes less Gimnen. <laughs> Gimnen, which is like glue that bonds the parts together, becomes weak. Then, the reason that ties together the parts will be lost, and eventually it will fall apart. I love this writing. Word lost and stiff. When your ego level becomes low, you first become unable to speak. This condition is called word lost. Then how are we even indicating that we want to choose these different topics? You should recover your ego level by coming here or by using the ego recovering liquid before you become word lost. Fol following word lost comes stiff. If you become stiff, you lose control of your arms and won't be able to do detailed work. Oh my. You won't be able to keep a record either, so you should recover yourself right away. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like terrifying. I mean, is it even, it, Emily, is it even that it's a bad translation, or is it just like the way that this is written? That word lost was translated in the fan translation as, oh, hello, you're the newcomer, you appear to be silenced. I mean, word lost has a lot more flavor to it, though. You appear to be silenced is like, very direct and straightforward. Word lost has like a, has a more like, mysterious kind of feeling to it, I think. I think the translation is fine for a completely alien world. You don't want these guys to be talking, like, so straightforward, I feel. I think you're, you are supposed to feel lost. And be like, what? What are you talking about? It was lost for words. Oh. This is just like Evangelion, is it? Everyone's favorite flavor of monster. Yeah, I like word lost. I think it's good. Word lost just needs to be capitalized. Yeah, that might might work. 
Find help. Hello, Nico. Milky fuel. Do you see the red and blue, uh, blue linear gauges in your body? The blue one is the fuel gauge. We get milky fuel from female machines because we male machines can't make milky fuel. Okay. So we're all running on, like, machine breast milk. Female machines can consume crabs and frogs to so change them into milky fuel. Our stomach is an air tank, but their stomach is a milky fuel maker. You can fuel yourself by going to the milky fuel station. <laughs> male machines. One of the features of us male machines is that we have high power output. We have a large motor, are good at fishing, and high in mobility. Our head is the fuel tank, and our stomach is an air tank for storing compressed air. Compressed air is made by the compressor linked to the motor. Various parts of the body, except the bogey, an output shaft, bogey? Are driven by compressed air, but since we can't make milky fuel ourselves, our travel range is limited. Output shaft, an organ unique to male machines. Oh. like a penis thing you can activate a lift or a boat by using this organ but its most important use is just to stir the stomach of a female machine this is necessary in making milky fuel wow this is i did not even expect it to be like this <laughs> uh. <laughs> is this like a penis thing huh good at fishing Wonder if they will show the output shaft. These guys have probably got absolutely rancid looking cocks. Just look at this guy. You don't I can't even imagine it. Female machines. The biggest feature of female machines is they can make milky fuel by consuming crabs and frogs. Their large stomach is the milky fuel maker, and the produced milky fuel is stored in their breasts. The stored milky fuel can be used as fuel by itself or pumped to a male machine through the fueling pipe. The residue after producing milky fuel is disposed as sewage. Their head is an air tank. However, they are not fit for doing jobs that require high power because their motor is small in general. All right. I guess we'll use the carousel? It is on the other side of the track you just came. There is a machine labeled rotary type treatment machine. Get on it. Other side of the track you just came. Oh. <laughs> This is how you recover your ego? Large stomach. Ilya tummy. Fill of milky fuel. Can't wait for the H scenes. Yeah, I kind of am wondering about that. Oh, okay. We did come past this. We did walk right past this. Uh, ride. This is one of two ways to recover your ego. Yeah, they also said something about an ego recovering machine. It works through music and mechanical vibration. This I love this. I love everything about this so far. What if you meet the next robot and learn that this one was just speaking nonsense? I guess it could happen. It's hard to know, uh... Okay, so this entire filing cabinet is all... Just leads to this info. Alright, so we have all of our notes tool. Where we keep lateralis and, uh... You, you get you get the idea you get the you get the joke music box broken music box what what was it we were supposed to ask somebody to fix that i don't know um wh where am i even supposed to go now log hajime all right let's go this way what is in here? Oh, hello. We can go fishing here, it looks like. Cool audio. Oh, like the band. Ha, you got it. You got that. Takashi. So you want to fish, huh? A new fishing buddy is always welcome. I'll teach you how to fish. It's your first time, right? Then you'll need a small hook and a small bait. I'll give you these. Okay. Fish hook number 1 times 10 and mighty claws times 10. To start fishing, you must first tap on the water surface. Guess they kept the same wording from the phone version. Then you'll be able to choose a fish hook and bait. 
You don't have to think about ground baits right now. Ground baits. After you choose a hook and bait, start fishing. Wait until a frog bites. When a frog bites, the indicator will move, so touch the handle on the right to hook the frog. Touching it a little will do. Once the frog is hooked, you'll be able to see how much life it has. Then you just have to reel it in until the frog's life becomes zero. Okay, must be careful with the line's tension. When it moves upward, the line is pulled. When it moves downward, the line is loose. Okay. Alright, so the frog will get away. Just explaining the fishing. We already kind of read this before. Um, can we explain it again? No, that's okay. Okay then, give it a try. I'm glad to have another fishing buddy. Hello, my name is Ground Baits. Crab Baits, but for ground crab. Hey, Cerebro. Uh, Alright, so we want to use fish hook number one. Mighty Claws? Kind of looks like a hermit, not a hermit crab, a horseshoe crab or something. Yeah, we don't have to worry about ground bait now. Yeah, we already know about this. This is very strange. Let it go down so that we can get it below the halfway point to reel it in. Okay. That... That's a frog? That looks absolutely disgusting. That is like the most phallic thing I've ever seen. Penis thing? Ground fee. Graffy. But of the ground. Yeah, it's just my head sticking out of the garden dirt. That is a geoduck. C cool frog. Streamer, why are we playing an H game? I don't know. It's not like I want to or anything. Right, we lost. We didn't lose anything. We didn't lose our hook or our mighty claws. Alright, let's, let's just we'll do it again. Alright, got another disgusting dick fish. <sighs> okay. You found fish hook number one inside its stomach. You lost the bait. Alright, so it seems like we have a random chance to lose bait. Uh, you have anything else to say? No. Fishing talk? Fishing starts with setting a bottle trap. With the bottle trap, you catch crabs to use as frog bait. Okay, so crabs are bait. So we use bottle traps to get crabs so we can fish for frogs. If you're setting a bottle trap, you should definitely use ground baits. Alright. You see, use the golden label. You will get double crabs. You can't lose, even if you use a small bottle trap. I always go to gun based shop and stock up when I run out of ground baits. I'll give you these. Go ahead and try them. Okay, we got ground bait golden label X2. Thank you. Uh, what was your name? Alright, well, he doesn't show up in our log. Uh, bye. Thanks for the bait. My head is spinning. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> Takashi, right. Oh, Elves Rose. Is that a reference to the penis franchise? I don't know, I'm not familiar with that, so I think that one of the penis franchise experts in chat is gonna have to sound off on this one. Um, I guess we set a bottle trap so we can get crabs. Ground bait. Gold label. Yeah. 
I think we came from this way. Yeah, because this is the carousel right here that we just went on. This is very cool. Uh, fuel station number two. We don't really need fuel yet, but we might as well talk to the attendant. Hi. Lee, hello. Do you want to refuel? No. Come again? Okay. Not really the talkative type. Oh, wait, there's a map. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> One F. Oh no, this world is gonna be so big! <laughs> what the fuck? Are fans of the penis franchise called dickheads? I, we, we can only hope so. That is so many dots. Tell me about it. Uh, well, over this way, it seems like it showed a dead end on the map. Over on the other side of the carousel. I wonder if there's anything down there. Or if the dots... Are the dots places that you stop? Okay, there's Hajime's house. Now where are we? Okay. I was mistaken. Why can't we go back to our... Our house? Seems like uh, we can't. I don't know why though. Let's talk to Hajime again. Psyche? Yeah, I know her. She's strange. She's not a jumble like us. She's more soft and smooth, like smoke. There used to be guys like her, but I haven't seen one lately. Psyche is good friends with Young. Young is the owner of the Milky Fuel Station. I thought that we are Young. Just remember at the beginning it said Mr. Young? He at the Milky Fuel Station number two might know more about her. After all, he's the owner of station number two. Alright, so we need to go talk to Lee at the Milky Fuel Station number two. <sighs> um Alright, this is our This is our house. Okay, we can go into our house now. So what is down here? This is like another fishing spot? Or, I mean, just nothing. There's nothing here. <laughs> this is so strange. Hello, Timmy. Nice, weird little guy we seem to be playing as. Yeah. Certainly a freak. Blasting down bad track every day. Garage, blasting down bad track adventure. Oh, I get it. For a second I was wondering why Augursley was posting every dot emote, but then I realized. We should probably save our game. Uh, Merry Dots Day! Tante Opera, Milky Fuel. I want to finish watching Milky Holmes sometime. There was one day that I watched half of the first season with Mocha in one sitting, but then uh, we didn't end up finishing it. Oh man, I'm so, like, overwhelmed by the size of this map. Well, let's go talk to Lee. We know we know where the fuel station is, at least, so... That's a lead that we have for whatever we're supposed to be doing. Uh, that's the fishing spot. Okay. Oh! In Garage, you play as a cyborg freak, blasting down tracks and sucking down milky fuel. <laughs> this is Lee? Liz, you can't come here directly. Please go to reception first. Okay. Sorry. Oh. Visited milky fuel station number two's back door. This game is like achievements? Like in-game achievements? There's no way it's actually that huge. Maybe.
Just jump to the last episodes of the last season, mislabeled as season one, episode one, without anyone around you to answer questions. Is, is this are you speaking from experience, eight lives? <laughs> I want milky fuel straight from the tap. I'm sorry. This is like it feels like a gotcha game interface or something. Okay. Strange. Hi. Hey, you can't come in here. I'm really busy, you know. Oh, it's you again. What do you want? S what? Psyche? You want to meet Psyche? What? Um, hey, you may already know, but milky fuel is created in the stomach of female machines. They ferment crabs and frogs inside their stomach, but since the sewage decreased, we are short of crabs and frogs. Frogs would probably be difficult, so bring me 50 crabs. You can catch them with bottle traps. Mighty claws would be fine. We can talk after that. Oh man. Okay, we need 50 crabs. Where, where is this guy gonna carry 50 crabs? You have anything to say? Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Adding achievements to a re-release of a game like this feels unconscionable. It's fine. You can just turn off the notifications for them. Log in once per day to receive five free Mighty Claws. This is what it feels like. This game gives me the willies. I, I like it so far. It's certainly disgusting. Oh, okay. So, from that bottle trap, we got 19 Mighty Claws, 2 Frog Imitators, and 3 Root Mimics. Is that so? Yep, that's, <laughs> that's what that guy looks like. Frog Imitator. Root Mimic. Cool. Yeah, we'll set another bottle trap. Why not? And... We'll come back in a bit. Let's explore around a little bit. Um, yeah, why don't we try... Well, let's explore these legs of the track, and maybe like this here. The perspective change makes it very confusing where, where you are. Okay, so this is a parallel track. There's a shop here. Who are you? Seeker Specimen Trading. Here you can exchange crabs and frogs for milky fuel station stamps. I'll take anything. If you don't have stamps, you won't be able to shop, refuel yourself, or recover your ego level. You should set bottle traps and fish frogs as much as possible. By the way, did you bring anything today? Um... These are worth 10 stamps each? Do we need this? Let's keep one frog. Quote unquote frog. Anything, even frogs and crabs. <laughs> Carry the crabs in your air tank. This is just like Destiny 2, yeah. Exactly like Destiny 2, obviously. I'd collect 50 just to be sure. Of frogs? You're keeping one, huh? One of those frogs. Listen, I don't want it for anything. I just think that we might need one eventually. Who's this? The Ego Clinic. Alright, so we're back here. Is this the same guy? Um, okay then, you'll just die. Listen, I'm not gonna keel over that easy, pal. What is that sound? Where are we? Oh my god. What was this again? Is this time or...
Let's try and go in. It said that we could go in the back door of the Ego Clinic. Yeah. We got another sick Chivo. Hi. You should be careful about your ego level, but it's a good thing you weren't stiff yet. What do you want? Psyche? You shouldn't. Just leave everything as they are. We have female machines and frogs. There is no somewhere not here. You should be careful about your ego level. Oh yeah, we already we already read that. Alright, let's let's go back. I don't like this room. This room? Why? Seems friendly enough. The graphics in this game are super cool. What? Uh guess we couldn't go that way. Can we go this way? Some rooms? Propellers, huh? What do you think those are for? <laughs> uh... Oh. Hassan, do you ha have an eraser? Feels good to rub. You can rub out anything with it. Why don't you give me an eraser? You're mean. Everyone, even the lady next door has it. She stores it inside her stomach. The eraser. Alright, so a uh, guy at the ego clinic wants eraser. I'm just gonna write that down real quick. Uh... Eraser? <laughs> Ilya, tell me... Pellers. Yeah, okay. 50 erasers. I'm glad that it seems to be pretty easy to get crabs. Is this the machine that recovers your ego? Like, the carousel does it, but this this is at the Ego Clinic. I'm sleepy. Okay, this guy just doesn't want to talk to us. Alright. <laughs> the faces are so unnerving, yeah. I... Hungry tummy noise. Feet. Something. Let's check our... our crab trap. Oh, the bottle trap. We got one pot crab, 16 mighty claws, 6 root mimics, and a frog imitator. Two frog imitators, rather. This set of bottle trap, but we don't have any bait. Where do you suppose we get bait? Do you think we can get it from this guy on the other side of the track here? Do you sell bait, or do you just buy frogs? No, we can only sell things here. We're just short of the amount of crabs that we need. Sell your crabs and frogs. Lift for 2F, 3F. Where... Oh, where are we? <sighs> what in the world? This map is uh, very difficult to understand. Okay, we've been here before, I think. There's another winch. Is there any point in setting a bottle trap when we have no bait? Let's just put one there and come back and see if anything gets uh, picked up. Kukuju apartment. Oh. Chio. You know Psyche? Hmm. Psyche is a shadow. Shadows are something like an alter ego. It's the alter ego which everyone should have had. You might still have one. Yeah, I bet you do. But shadows eventually evaporate. They vanish, so you should hurry. If it happens, everything will be over. You will never be able to go back. Huh? Go back where? Anywhere? Okay, so same, same dialogue. What's this? Paper? Never mind, don't worry about it. Obey me. I'm capable of killing myself. What's wrong with killing myself? 
got old memo number four. It's a little kind of dire. Does every kind of crab count towards the total or just the mighty claws? I think that the guy said mighty claws, like by by uh by name. Is this like prison? Are they being tortured? No, I think it's just the ego, the ego clinic. No, I don't think I don't think I can use crab as bait. Is the thing. Let's see. Okay, you do get crabs from just putting down an empty bottle trap. All right, so let's put our bottle trap back and we'll go back to the the milky fuel station and give that guy the 50 crabs that he wanted. So that we can maybe get some kind of information about Psyche, which I still don't really know. Hey, yeah. Yeah. So you got them. Are you going to give them to me? Yes, we handed over Mighty Claws. Listen, Psyche is at the lighthouse in the restricted area. But to enter the lighthouse, you must go through the laboratory. The laboratory is next to the factory. To enter the laboratory, you need to unlock the door locked by a special lock. It is impossible. Do you get it? No. This, okay, so that's just... <sighs> so, we, want, we need to go to the lighthouse. I'm writing this down. To go to the lighthouse through the laboratory next to the factory. Oh man. Finishing up your crab bounty just to get your vanguard rank up. Just like Destiny 2. Augustly, I don't know if this is like Destiny 2. Hey Clow, how are you doing today? Welcome. Well then, go away now. Oh, chapter 2, the laboratory. Alright, so now we're on to chapter 2. That That's progress. I wonder how long this game is. It seems like it could be quite large, but maybe the... It seems like the, the map is sort of like exaggerating the size of the game a bit, maybe? Um, the characters in Destiny 2 basically look like this, do they? <laughs> Alright, we pull up Egghead, Mighty Claws, and Root Mimic. Yeah, we should probably think about uh, fueling up now that I'm thinking about it. So let's go back to... I'm starting to come to grips with like this bizarre perspective. Uh, let's let's get some fuel. I think we probably have enough fuel. Yeah, I want to refuel. You need to pay the amount of stamps. You need to fill it up every time you fuel, no matter how much you have left. That's the rule. All right. Your head's tank capacity is 10. Go. So it'll be 10 stamps every time you fuel up. It's uh, Yeah, that's fine. That's not really that much. Go left and fuel yourself from this. Alright. Hi. Uh, I've never done this before. Is this your first time here? Then first, please open the cover on my stomach. Oh. Yes. Next, insert your output shaft into my stomach and stir the inside. They're gonna put, like, Freud in the credits for this game. <laughs> Keep thinking the song Gas Pedal is about to start. I'm not familiar with that one. I am 10 years old, by the way. No! This is like Chobits. <laughs> Hello, Button. Welcome. Uh... All right, so they didn't, they didn't show it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't want to go in here. Oh, I don't want to talk to you, Lee. Uh, where's the factory? The laboratory next to the factory. Well, I mean, I guess all that we can really do is 
explore. So I guess we should maybe focus on trying to find the factory for now. And find the laboratory, and maybe there will be somebody near the laboratory that can tell us more about how that we get into the laboratory. Uh, let's pull this up. A bottle trap. Oh no. We forgot to set it last time. Uh, what's this? Bulcanero Toy Works. Um. Hi. Isn't that a music box you have? Can I see it? Oh yeah, this is where we were supposed to take the music box to get it fixed. This is definitely my work. Oh, Shen was thinking of fixing it. It's badly damaged and the gears are broken. I'll fix it for you. You don't have to pay any stamp. Well, come here again when your meter's needle has revolved three times. Hand it over the broken music box. Okay, so we can come back here, I guess, when our meter shows 25 or 26. <laughs> um, music box at 26, just to, just to be on the safe side. Interesting. Hey, where'd that guy go? There was a guy here. Another fisher? Okay, I obey myself. I act as I order. I have my own will. Got old memo number two. <sighs> that needle is constantly moving. Yeah, I guess that's the clock. It's pretty amazing for a game to give you a map of every spot you can stand. Yeah, it's it is it makes it look way more sprawling than it actually is, I guess. Very innocently watching this as a podcast. Hey guys, what's going on? It's nothing, Ellie. It's okay. Time limit. We explode when it revolves 99 times. No, no. I don't think there's anything like that in this game. <sighs> um, let's see. Why don't we use... Uh, this. Root Mimic. This time. Let's see what we can catch with Root Mimic. You don't have enough power to fish it. What? What? Why? Let's try using Ghetto. You don't have enough power to fish it. What does that mean? I guess we didn't lose our bait. Uh, I guess we'll try try with Mighty Claws again. Or maybe the fish in this pond are like particularly strong or something? Well, we got ghetto. We can get those. Caught many frogs. Okay, we got more fish hooks from that. It's very weird that this has this like gotcha style. <laughs> like achievement thing. You get achievements from refueling from different ladies. <laughs> Alright. It is bad. I do not like these achievements. Emily is really mad about this. The sanctity of the game. I don't think it's so bad. Some kind of fishing stat? I'm not sure. I wonder if we will be able to upgrade ourselves at some point. Something. I'd love to get prizes from God, yeah. This is why people believe in God, is to get prizes. They should add microtransactions. <laughs> Light level too low. Need some raid gear. Raid gear. Yeah, we'll pull up the bottle trap. Caught many crabs. Thanks. 
Egghead, Mighty Claws, Root Mimic, Frog, Imitator, great. We'll go ahead and set another trap. No reason not to while we are uh, exploring. I think that we are on the outer track right now. So here's, we just went past the toy works. <sighs> this is so confusing. All right, let's continue. Let's try and explore just this main square before we go on this like whole outer circuit. Um, all right, so this is the toy works right here. No, this is the toy works. This is the apartments. We've already been to both of those. Uh, we'll go this way. Wow. This is a pulverizing machine. What is this? Uh, advertisement? Freak show? You will enjoy. New World Theater. Ego destroying show. Super fine quality. Kan Iso. Shinsekai Theater? We've got the Amazing World. Sean, red. Okay. It's Miracle. You will enjoy. We've got Two Headed Machine. Blue letters. What do we want these for? We've got Happy Hour. Super fine quality. Crab Butter. Red Ladle. I wonder what we need these for. Okay, got the ego destroying show, second half slash green. Got amazing world, Reiko slash red. It was torn. Frog oil, frog stand finest oil. Frog oil, black label slash oily. Are these for making bait out of? Crab butter, red label. Happy hour orange. Okay. If, what, why do we want all this for? <laughs> all right. <sighs> the artist that made this has some absolutely insane art, even outside of this. Oh, is this like associated with like a particular artist? I don't really know much about this game, so. What, what is their name? I def need to see the ego destroying show. This definitely feels like art that someone felt like they absolutely needed to make. Yeah. I always like stuff that feels like that. Okay, here's another fuel station. really love the way that this game looks like there's parts of it that don't even look like pre-rendered they almost look like just like photo textures like stretched around <sighs> hello 10 stamps for a fuel up do you want to fill up no come again this uh station seems to be a little bit more strictly guarded yeah you can't go in that way I would assume that's like the back door to the fuel station, or, uh... No, no, no. The pulverizers, I think, are blocking us from going to this outer circuit, so... Hmm. And it didn't seem like we could go from the Ego Clinic to these places. Like, my guy just kind of stopped when I tried moving on that track, so... Let's try going here. Whatever this, like, projection here is. Which I think we can reach by going here. Maya Builder's office? Mia? What's oh, over here? Honda Bogey Factory. Yeah. Maybe you can turn the crushers off. Yeah, probably. Probably eventually. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Come see the Ego Destroyer! The original version did not have achievements, yes. I feel like the original 
version probably didn't have achievements and you need to get all your stamps by selling frogs at the store. Yeah, most likely. It's probably they put this in as a quote unquote like quality of life kind of thing. Sukaba Tomomi. All his work is like this. Cool. Who are you? What do you want? As you can see, I'm making a bogey. You have one attached to you too, don't you? Yes, that bogey. But there's a problem. The lathe chuck is broken. I can't clamp the wheels to the lathe. I wonder if there's a new chuck somewhere. Young man, if you find a usable chuck somewhere, could you bring it to me? Sure. Thanks. Humph, <laughs> that laboratory is heresy. They haven't changed a bit from when it was a facility of the freak show. Ego recovering liquid is an imitation of crab butter. You shouldn't make imitations, don't you think so? An imitation of crab butter. Who are you? Enu san. I like mysterious things. For example, the carousel. Why is it called carousel, although no one knows what exactly a carousel is? That's weird. A thing is called by the name of something no one has ever seen or heard of. I'm guessing it's something that doesn't exist here, but exists somewhere. Oh yeah, if you find anything mysterious, just tell me about it. Just this name will do. Eraser. It has a strange sound to it. You can rub out anything with it, huh? I wonder what it's used for. Did they have things that they needed to rub out that badly? I wonder what a world with carousel and eraser would be like. The laboratory? Oh. Do you know that there are two lifts at Seiryu Apartments? One of them is for going to the factory. The building next to the factory is a little laboratory, but you can't go in there. They say that its door is locked with a special lock. My husband hates the laboratory. He says that place is an imitation, but this whole world is an imitation after all. Don't you think it's funny that an imitation hates an imitation? I guess there's some humor in that. You think so too? But you know, I don't like the laboratory either. It gives me the creeps. But there are things that have become more convenient because of the laboratory. I guess things don't always work out as you expect. In the past, we had to gather crab butter to recover our ego level. We female machines eat crabs and our ego level decreases slowly too. But male machines, they had to keep cracking crabs to gather crab butter from them. That was so much work. Okay, so it seems like we've exhausted her dialogue. Crab butter. I feel like I'm going to be thinking about crab butter for a while. Hungry for crab butter. Need usable high tops. Yeah, I wonder who it was that wanted sneakers. Turn the crusher off. Dot level crusher. The world with carousel and eraser. I want to eat it. Hello, Greedra. How are you doing? Who's this? Mia Builder's office. Oh. Notes? I'm free! I'm free! I can do anything! Old memo number one. What is back here? Nothing? Cool place. I can't get over how, how neat this uh, game looks. Hello. What do you want? You want to talk about fishing or do you want me to teach you how to fish? We'll talk about fishing. When fishing, you should use the right hook. There's a best hook for every frog. It can't be too big or too small. If it's too big, they won't bite. If it's too small, they'll fall off. This way is to use the largest hook that can be used to fish that certain frog. For example, if you want to catch a ghetto, hook number two is the best. Sorry. You have anything else to tell me? The fishing spot behind Mia Builder is a good spot for fishing ghettos. You can catch Mono Morai too. Well, we only have hook number one, which seems to be the smallest hook. So we won't be able to catch anything but ghetto. Seems like we there's no point in fishing for anything else right now. Humph. 
one day eat crab legs. I don't know if I've ever eaten crab before or lobster. The atmosphere of this is oddly relaxing. I like that you say that because it seems like everyone is having very varied uh, reactions to this. Some people are really disgusted by this game. <laughs> And, uh... <laughs> so good. I used to always order it as a kid at any seafood place. Crab legs. I am disgusted. Positive. Yeah, it's like... I don't know. This, I kind of like that... It's not, it's not, like, distressing. It's just kind of, like... Filthy and, like, foul. But... Everyone here is acting normal, so it's like, well, I guess there's nothing nothing bad is happening necessarily. Mia. Okay, this guy's nothing to say to us. Mia. Hi. Hey, isn't that a ghetto you have with you? I've only been eating crabs lately. If it's possible, would you give one to me? Yes. Hand it over the ghetto. You're so sweet. You can have this if you like. Look about portable milky fuel. I used to pack a portable milky fuel for Mia to take with him every time he went to work. That brings back some memories. Do you know the press machines? The one at the entrance of the restricted area? Mia made them. Mia made the new world, the lighthouse, everything. He doesn't make things anymore. There's nothing to make. He doesn't talk anymore. The only thing he does is stir my stomach. I used to think that we can achieve something in this world, although not everyone thought so. You think that we can you can achieve something in this world? I mean, yeah, we're we're making things happen. You really think so? Well, I guess you must be happy if you really believe so. There is tons of rust under my saggy breasts. It's like being inside this chunk of rust. <laughs> okay, seems like we've exhausted her dialogue now. There is tons of rust under my saggy breasts. Okay, he still won't talk to me. The artist is on Twitter and recently has been posting art progress pieces. The environments don't seem to be 3D renders. Like the signs and wood are, but a lot of things are drawn. It seems like it's a very like photo collage kind of like thing. Hello Jeep8790. Welcome. Wow, we actually needed that one ghetto. Yeah, see, I was right to keep one. They are freaks. Positive. <laughs> crab is funny. Yeah, I like that there's so much dialogue about crabs in this game. <laughs> it was very, very silly. Uh, let's see what's up here. Oh, hello. Noom. The factory workers might know something about the laboratory next door, but they are all clunkers. Especially Tasan. He forgets everything, except his job. He should know about it since he works right by it, but the only thing he says is, <laughs> Something might trigger his memory. But from the look of him, I think there's little chance. An old machine might know more about Tasan. Let me see. Maybe the machines that Fukuju Apartment knows. Hmm. So, is that the apartments that we went to? That we're over a bit past the place that buys the frogs. I wonder. Alright, so here's the ego clinic. We can use a bit of ego, so why don't we go here? Whoops. Um, no, no. Let's talk to this guy. Let's try using the ego machine, like the ego refilling machine. Yeah, ego recovering machine, because that costs less stamps, so maybe, uh, we can recover, like, less ego, so that we don't become, uh, word lost, what they say. Great. We've been filled up with ego. And this way... Apartment store. Oops. Okay, this is the crab and frog buying guy. Alright, let's go this way. 
There's a lift for 2F and 3F there. Alright, so here's Fukuju apartment. And we can also check out our bottle trap while we're here. Get some more crabs. Uh, let's go in here. As I said, uh, somebody at Fukuju Apartments might know. In the old days, Tasan used to enjoy spending time with Doku. Do you know Doku? Doku had one body, and but was two. I wonder what they're doing now. Why don't you ask Tasan about Doku? Yang is the one who started all this. Everyone was swayed by Yang, but Yang had no such intention. He doesn't care about others. He just did what he wanted to. What a nuisance. By the way, there's something I wanted to ask you. Do you know Yang? Uh, we've heard of him. So you do. I thought so. I don't know about you, but I think that laboratory is worth nothing. I'm an old machine. Do you know what old means? Old means keep your nose out of other people's business. But it probably doesn't matter to you. There's only one thing we can do right now. We can only do one thing at a time. If you think I'm lying, try it yourself. Okay. What, what, what happens if we say we don't know Young? I see. Okay. <laughs> yes, the booba. Well, we learned to ask Tasan about Doku. Whoever Tasan is. Got some more crabs. Let's put another bottle trap down. And we're supposed to do something. Let's try going to the inner track. We haven't been looking so much around here. Okay, there's this. What do you think this building is? Oh, Seiryu apartment. We did hear somebody mention this. Robuba. There's quite a bit of boobage in the robot's mysterious intake port. Or the con what was it called? The control arm or something? Wow, this is a pretty big apartment building. Yeah, we were supposed to go to the toy factory, right? That's what I was thinking of. This is a clock. Uh, it seems like both of these places have a clock next to the door. But... But why? Okay, we can go in here. Jirobe. The laboratory? We only sell the items they send to us. I hear there's a machine called Mr. Kotel, but I've never met him. They say that you need a certain piece of music to enter that place, but I don't know anything else. Okay, so maybe we need the music box to enter the laboratory. Once upon a time, there was an exceptionally large crab. Every day, this crab ate crabs that were smaller than itself, but one day, it suddenly became unable to eat. Do you know why? It was eaten by a frog. The moral of this story is, stamps are important. How do you figure? Okay. <laughs> These robots invented wheels, but like never figured out a way to just turn. Or not use tracks. I mean, I guess it's like a uh, rhetorical device. More than a literal thing. Taboo bitch. <laughs> Booba gay. Pronounced like MOBA gay. <laughs> pretty good. There's another clock. Um, we're getting a bit low on fuel, but we do have portable fuel on us. Yeah, what is... Oh! Clue, the laboratory. Tank capacity, 10. Go. Ego level, 100%. Fuel efficiency, 100%. Modification, none. Okay. Lapse time, lap 34. Stamps 3540. 
I guess our, our character might change over time. Is this what we use to fuel up? Is this what we use to stir? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Cool music right here. Uh, as a fan of trains, I really like the rails. Yeah, same here. It's an interesting concept, having a game where you're just going around on rails everywhere. So can't tell if the guy who made this game was 100 horny or zero horny. I mean, I, I sense some sort of like, uh, maybe not disgust, but like sort of treatment of sex as like a mechanical like necessity of biology or something <laughs> in this game maybe who knows though ah. like disinterest maybe don't people always say no disinterest doesn't mean uninterested though what does that mean the laboratory? It's next to our working place, but we can't go in there, and I don't want to either. Everyone seems to be very afraid of the laboratory. We've always worked under the instructions of other machines. Everyone tells us to work. But we don't mind working that way, since we're able to work when we are told to do so. Because it feels good to be able to work. Feeling good is a good thing, but when there is no machine telling us to work, it's tough, because we can't feel good. Oh, I don't want to have a tough time. Okay. I like this dialogue. Good. Oh. You, f you feeling okay? The laboratory? I'm not interested. Don't you like my posters? They're filled with colors, aren't they? I'm gonna collect more. If I collect more, there'll be more and more. Oh yeah, if you find any posters, bring them to me. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, we have plenty of posters. Did you find any rare printed materials? Which one do you want to exchange? Uh, we have two-headed machine blue letters. For frog oil. Portable milky fuel. Alright, the amazing world for bottle trap. We could use more of those to set up a ego destroying show or ego recovering liquid. We could use that. Frog oil for fish hook. We finally got fish hook number two. Fishhook number three, ground bait silver label. Hey. Oh, we can just ch uh, trade these for ground bait all at once. Got uh, gold label, ground bait, ego recovering liquids, and portable milky fuel. Wow. Cool. You can catch big frog now. Yes. I'm interested to see what the other, uh, what the other frogs are like. This is a rail shooter. You are on rails, and you shoot. In a manner of speaking, yes. The fact that it's called Bad Dream Adventure makes me imagine, like, having a gross fever dream where sex is like this. It could be. It could be that. First time, it's funny, I first saw this game around the time I first saw Kimono Zume, so I'm feeling kind of surreal and nostalgic. Yeah, we did finish watching that just two days ago. <laughs> it's another uh, sex preoccupied kind of piece of media. I like how on rails usually means a game is devoid of player choice, but this is very much the opposite of that. Yes, you have a, a lot of choice of where to go. Many places. Huh? Uh, what? Dark? I can't remember anything. I'm gonna get sucked with a whoosh. Hey, will you give me one of your ego recovering liquids? Okay. Hands it over an ego recovering liquid. Thank you. Now I can work tomorrow. Okay. No, I don't want to go up another floor. We should probably go back to the fuel station. Ah, every time I meet you meet a new person, I get jump scared. They're a bit startling looking, maybe. 
Oh. Do these only open in this specific wedge of time? Okay. Alright, right now, let's... Let's go... To, uh... Let's go back to the toy place. And also, let's go back and get our crabs. No, we need to go get fuel. I, I feel so... <sighs> Scatterbrains. Oh no, we're on the inner track right now. So let's, there's Hajime. Let's go this way to get fuel, because our fuel meter is flashing red. I think that the fuel place is like right around the corner. That's the ego place. Where is the fuel station? Right, right up ahead. Oh, that was pretty close. I want to fill up. Great. Hello, I'm back again. Thank you for coming. Feels like a double entendre. <laughs> you guys are all getting jump scared <laughs> from these guys. I think they're kind of cool looking. I mean, they're like gross, but they look neat. Um, alright, let's go this way. Trying to remember where the toy factory was. I think it was on the outer track. So let's get this. Um, and why don't we set up a bottle trap with silver label bait. We have two bottle traps now, so I'll set up another one right here. Also with silver label. Let's go back to the outer track. And the toy place, I think, was right here, yeah. If we go this way? No. That leads to the pulverizer. Is this the toy works? Yes. Volcanero Toy Works. And this guy is here. We didn't talk to him last time. He like left when we went into the Toy Works. Um Yeah, we already know about the right the right hooks for each kind of frog. Alright, let's try using fishing hook number three with with uh this frog imitator. Let's see if we can catch anything with this. You don't have enough power to fish it. Okay. Maybe that's something to do with our actual like um, configuration as a machine or something. Because we can. It seems like when we look at this, we can uh, modify ourselves. I don't know how. Thanks for blending my crabs. I want to go to this theme park. It's like, uh. World's most bizarre roller coaster. Freeform roller coaster. Hello, pond water. What's oh, the same fisherman? I wonder if he just travels around. Find the same guy. It's finished. It sounds wonderful. I'll give you a score, too. Receive the music box and Vulcanero's score. We just got uh, new achievements. Round bait silver for fixing the music box. Thank you. Honda's lathe chuck is broken. He must be having trouble then. Hey, I have an extra chuck. Here, take this. Okay, we got the lathe chuck for that guy. I don't really like the laboratory. It seems like no one does. I used to run a toy factory. Of course, I made a variety of toys, but nobody wants a toy today. Toys used to have a function as a learning device, but nobody is interested in studying anymore. In this world, 
the act of studying can only have limited value. All values are absorbed into female machine's stomach. What? <laughs> the Chivos is so funny. I think that it's especially funny that it keeps making Emily <laughs> so, so angry. Will you tell me? Yes. All values are absorbed into female Tanuki's stomach. Nobody likes the laboratory. Oh, skeleton witch. Is this, uh, yeah, this is where we had a bottle trap set up. We didn't get that much more with the silver bait, but you know. let's put that and pull up our trap here. And set up another trap. Now, we should probably go save. We haven't saved in a minute. So let's try going over here. Down. Where was our house? I think this led to a fishing spot. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There's our home. Let's go over there. This UI is actually beautiful. I like how grimy it is. I really love the look of this game in general. There's nothing in the world that looks like this. Alright. Let's save. And... We'll take the... What was the thing called? I, I just can't... I feel like I can never remember what everything is called in this game. Honda Bogey Factory. Yeah, we need the Chuck Lathe, I think it was called. For this guy? Hand of the Lathe Chuck. Okay. Ah, you found one. Oh, Bocanero had it. Thank God. I'll tune up your bogey in return. We're being operated on. Your bogey is upgraded to type 1. Fuel efficiency increased 15%. I'll, I'd be able to upgrade it if I had some bearings and spoke wheels. But right now I'm out of stock. If you find them, bring them to me. Receive bogey type 2 parts list. Bearings and spoke wheels. Interesting. You have anything else to tell me? <laughs> okay, yeah, we already know. I'm impressed at the ability to fuck up a lathe chuck. What even is that? What is it? Bogey upgraded. Um, why don't we go back to, what was it, Seiryu apartment? Maybe we should talk to Hajime again as well. He seems to usually know stuff. How's it going? Hajime. The laboratory? They should shut down a place like that. You too. You shouldn't play around with your body. But if you're planning to fish, that's a different story. Well, I still don't understand what's so fun about making weird drugs and equipment. <laughs> new machines like Noom don't ha seem to think much about it, but I don't like it. Hey, do you know Noom? No. Noom is a machine who used to work at Mia's workshop, but now that Mia can't speak, I wonder what he's doing. You'll find him if you go onto the outer track from there and go straight from Mia's workshop? The laboratory should be shut down. Let's go back to the uh, the apartment. So now that we have plenty of fuel, um, yeah, we'll go back in here. It's what holds the workpiece on a lathe. Oh, okay. Cylindrical metal thing. Do you know what a lathe is? Like, kind of. It like turns stuff around. Not likely to be damaged, one hopes. But maybe his was really old. Why do y'all know know all this? You should only upgrade yourself in the way God intended, making yourself better at fishing. Let's go this way and see. Yeah. Okay. So we were able to go into this apartment this time because the the clock was at the appropriate point. There is two Doku. I know. Heh. <laughs> Doku and me are a group of three buddies. 
<laughs> I remember now. The sheep song. <laughs> Score. Music box. <laughs> Couple. <laughs> key open. Okay. Music box? <laughs> what? Alright, chapter 3. The score. What? <sighs> I like songs. Cool music. I just looked up what a bogey is. What is it? We're all machinists. Every single chat member. <laughs> a grandparent used to make artificial limbs by hand. Cool. I saw... Aquatic machine? Wait, crabs are machines? I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but... <laughs> I sing. <laughs> Doku sings coo coo ha 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 coo ha coo ha coo coo this our song <laughs> okay goodbye class on uh let's go back to the second floor and see if we can get into some of those other apartments <laughs> I used the lathe once, only once, and never again. All right, so let's go. Let's check that again when the clock goes past the one. This is a very interesting, interesting systems in this game. The way that everything works. Hello. Why did I watch such a thing? Something has changed since then. Nothing is certain in this world after all. Smoking sewage like this is the best. <laughs> ah, it tastes of Michio. Alright. Gonbe. We went to this door as well, but we couldn't get in. Alright, so we have to come here between 9 and 1. This game has that sort of weird sense of like indifference to you that I remember in like Moon games like that. Just, the game is not really concerned with what you are doing. Your movement speed might be upgraded now. I think it's just that we use less fuel when we move around. Does does our ego and fuel drop when we move, or is it like some other specific thing? We talked to this guy. Score? Do you mean that piece of paper used to make sound on that worthless toy? Do you think I have any interest in such a thing? Don't confuse me with Torlop. Alright, so he says his same story about the, the crab that ate a lot of frogs. Oh, it's the wheel assembly on a train car. It's robot feet! I remember watching a video on YouTube of a guy that would turn root root balls on a lathe and turn them into like weird objects. A musical score? Not a meter? I absolutely love this thin needle. <laughs> Alright, so... Rough marks, rough scale marks make me feel generous. What? Alright, so that was pointless. Oh, I don't think we ever came here. Host. Letter from Shen. person loves meters. Real metric head. Uh, 
I don't think we went down this way last time, did we? Oh, there was a paper right there. Oh, hi. <laughs> he seems to be asleep. Okay. I am my slave. So what? It's natural that I am my slave. You got old memo number seven. Wonder who these memos are from. Oh, it's Takashi. What do you want? Do you want to buy my frogs or do you want to talk about fishing? Here, I'll tell you something good. The important thing when fishing is to know the frog's favorite bait. You won't catch any rare frogs if you don't know which bait to use. You can find out the frog's preference by using various baits for the quickest ways to get fishing information. I'll tell you something good. Have you ever caught an albino frog? It's very rare. It's not posted on Seeger's shop, but he'll give you many times the stamps of regular frogs for it. I heard that albino frogs are far more delicious than regular frogs, but there's no way for us male machines to find out. Hmm. Interesting. I will destroy the physical kilogram. Why? <laughs> no! How will we weigh things? Who's this? Yes, it is true that I used to make music scores, but that is a very long time ago now. Do you know a place called the New World? Until that place was built, my job was to create scores and diaries, but since then, my job gradually shifted to making posters and flyers for the New World. And about that time, the number of fruits in this world began to decrease. It was probably because the amount of sewage decreased dramatically. Paper is made from roots that grow from the sewage. If the roots become scarce, we can't make paper, so I had no choice but to make posters using papers of diaries and scores. I don't know if the score you were looking for was used for making a poster, but it's a possibility. I forgot his name, but there's a machine who collects the posters I've made. Why don't you try asking him? I think his eyes were always vibrating like this. <laughs> yes, his eyes did look like that. We have talked to him. All right. So we need to talk to that guy. Uh, I think he's on the first floor near the near the entrance. Eating frogs is fembrained. I can't wait to get an achievement for albino frog. <laughs> Probably be a very uh, expensive achievement. What is this? None. So we need some kind of key to get in there. This is a fishing spot. Okay, we cut ghetto. We don't really seem to be struggling too much for like stamps. Probably because of the achievement system. So there's not much reason to fish yet, and it seems like we're not even strong enough to catch most of the frogs anyway. Alright, let's go try and talk to the poster freak on the first floor. And there is still a third floor to this apartment. I kind of... I, I don't really know like what we're doing. Like, it seems like our main goal is to get into the laboratory. But beyond that, I'm kind of lost. Hi. I, a poster printed on the music score of the sheep song? I don't have it, but I sure do want it. Posters are usually posted on the bulletin board, but I heard that because of renovation of buildings and the like, some posters got hidden behind walls. Mia, the builder, should know about these things, but he can't speak. Do you get it? Okay, Ch uh, chapter four, the hidden bulletin board. All right, we're on to another chapter all of a sudden. Oh my god. Frogs are late game content. They can only be fished after killing God, but before the final battle with Ultra God. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. His eyes were always like this. Yeah, the timing on the chapter titles is coming out of nowhere in the middle of the dialogue is very good. 
Can we talk to whoever's in here? This looks very cool so far. How is it? It's good. It's very mysterious. I kind of am just sort of rolling with it. <laughs> uh, we're running kind of low on fuel. We do have some portable fuel, so it's not too big of a problem if we get stuck somewhere. Have low fuel. Okay, room number eight. Can't open this. Whatever this is. Let's go back. Rolling with it. Pun intended. Oh, I never intend any puns that I make. <laughs> it's just my natural talent. <laughs> Let's, uh, we should probably go fuel up. And w maybe fill our ego up as well. I wonder what causes ego to decrease? Is it, like, interactions with other people? Why don't we go to this, the milky fuel station? Because we've not been there yet. I'm kind of curious about it. Uh, milky fuel station. Hello. And stamps for a fuel up. Do you want to fill up? Yes. Well then, go to the back and choose the female machine you like. Um. Well, this lady is the roundest. Hi. <laughs> Sean. Dot dot dot. The embarrassment of interaction drains it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Please come again. Alright, so we fueled up. <laughs> the Iliatummiest, yes. We can't go through there. So, that one guy mentions that, uh, the Mia... Where's Mia Builder? That's in this building, right? I think it's, uh, the second branch to the left here. But this guy can't talk anymore. Maybe his wife knows? Um, our ego looks low. I wonder if we are... What is it? Word lost right now? I can't understand what you're saying. Alright, so we do need to go fuel up our ego. Sean dating route. She, she didn't seem like she was very interested in us. Uh, personally. So, the ego clinic is yeah, right here. Hey. Let's get on the carousel. There is a machine labeled rotary type treatment machine. Get on it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love the music for this. Go ride the carousel until you get egotistical. This really refills my ego. Yeah, you know. When we are all feeling like our ego is getting a little bit too fragile. You know, everyone loves to go on the carousel. Alright, let's see if we can talk to his wife. Hidden bulletin board? What do you want to know? The laboratory? Psyche? You mean you're looking for a shadow? Uh, I'll give you this. Good luck finding the shadow. Received an old blueprint? Prepare the blueprint in the building carefully. I'm sure you'll find it. Hmm. So... Blueprint. Alright, we have this. Okay. So this appears to be the... Apartments next to Balconero Toy Works. So... Yeah. Fuku, Fukuju Apartments. So we need to go there. Man, my head is spinning. <laughs> I guess the ego is the word they're using for just stuff that makes you feel alive slash want to exist and talk with people. Yeah, it's like your sense of self. I think they described it in the game. 
The circus is in town. Go see the carousel. The doctor. I am. Carousel. It didn't really work. We still haven't gone this way. What even is on this branch? Like, why don't we, while we're here, we have not gone down this, like, alleyway. Oh. Elevator. Mm -hmm. Is this the back door of the department store? No. It just leads us back to the inner track next to that thing. Oh, this is the second floor of the department store. Okay. Well, now we're like, <laughs> we're getting sidetracked, but it's okay. Seems to be what this game is all about. All right, so there's seems to be a number of places we can go on this floor. Uh, let's just look around. Wow, Torlop Junk Shop. Hello. What do you want? As you can see, this is a used parts shop. Reserve tank. Alright, so this is what we might want money for. I was thinking, like, we have so much money, like, from achievements that we probably would be fine. Uh, Alright, so I wonder if we can get this, if we modify ourselves, or do we take this to, to Honda and he modifies us? I really love this music, yeah. I love how, like, atmospheric a lot of the music is. Uh, I hope you feel okay, though. Me? I feel fine. Meat has an emote called Meat Spin. <laughs> when you talked about having a lot of money, I was gonna say just wait until something costs 10k. Yeah, we are uh, we are at that point now. So that that Honda said something about what was it that he asked? We. It was parts list, right? Bogey type 2 parts list. Bearings and spoke wheels. It doesn't seem like this guy has those. Alright, well now we know why we would need to sell stuff. So let's... I think we should work on getting a, a big, bigger reserve tank. Because our fuel is pretty low as it is. Hello. Gonbe Fishing Tackle Store. What do you want? Wow. Fish hook number zero. 1050. Fish hook number 100. 1100. Ghetto fishing information. Oh, so this is what that guy was talking about. Fishing information. Alright, let's buy this. Description. The fish frogs, you should first get information. It lists the baits, fish hooks, and ground baits suited for each frog. You might think it's a little expensive, but you won't regret it. Alright, so let's buy this. And the rusty frog fishing information. Sucker male fishing information. Mock root. Wow, there's a lot of different frogs you can catch. This guy also sells baits. Uh, don't want to go too crazy on the spending right now, though. It's good to know that this is here. Frog oil. Jirobe drugstore. Probably sells like portable fuel. Yeah. High grade ego recovering liquids. This is fascinating. I had no idea that this game was going to be kind of like, almost like an RPG. DM me your meat spins. Excuse me, Ilya? Jet kit. I don't know what that does. Every guy you meet is a yuck sucker, male. Sucker. Welcome to my shop. I have everything you need. Wall mounted fan? Large fan? Is this stuff for our house? I guess so. We definitely cannot afford any of that though. Uh, why don't we check out the second floor? Or the third floor, sorry. This is my favorite dude, Yoshibe. He looks like he's pretty easy going. Um, what is... Seems like there's a branch here, but we can't go to it. I hope we can change our guy's head. <laughs> I hate, I hate this guy's head. 
Moriwaki Customs. Hi. Oh, a customer. Sorry, I didn't notice. Machines rarely customize their bodies these days. If you want to modify your body, go get the necessary parts yourself. This is not a parts shop, you know. I only customize. Also, you must modify your body stage by stage. There is a proper order for doing things. Oh. Installing a reserve tank. Oh, we can't, apparently. Stage 1 tuning? Description. Your engine power and ego level will be improved by fine-tuning each part to maintain bodily functions. Consequently, you'll be able to fish for frogs that tug strongly. Alright. It's because the neural communication becomes smoother because the circulatory system's energy loss is reduced. No additional parts necessary. Alright, this is what we need. We need this, like, as soon as possible. That's our... our mission. I think this guy's business model is flawed. Making you bring the parts in yourself and not selling them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so we need some kind of five digit number. Don't want, don't know anything about that. Don't have anything to do with that so far. Oh, just a little, a little window to look out of. Um, right, we really got sidetracked. <laughs> we were gonna go to that apartment and check out the, uh, the mysterious wall. This game is very engrossing. I, I kind of didn't know what to expect, because I didn't know anything about this. I had no idea what kind of game it was. I just knew that you, you clicked around with the mouse, and that it looked like this. I mean, you'd think he'd ask you what you want and go downstairs to order them. I mean, I guess when there's only single tracks to most places, uh, what can you really do? It's not like he can go around you very easily. We'll pull up the bottle trap. What do we get? Plenty of uh, crabs. We'll put down another bottle trap with silver label. I think I'm going to save the gold label bait for when we can get a bigger bottle trap, maybe? Does it seem like that that one guy had medium? Uh, let's go into the apartments here. Oh no, it's talking about this. Oh, okay, here's a uh, secret... One of these. Bulletin boards. We'll get all of these. Happy hour. Freak show. Fire show. Ego destroying show. Ancient Sky Freak Show. Ah, here's the score. Score. The Sheep Song. So, do we need that to talk to Yasan? Is that his name? That was in the uh, Seiryu apartments? I don't know. We, should, we can listen to that. Score. The Sheep Song. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sounds great. Um, what was I? What was I doing? We should we should talk to this guy and see what we can sell. Specimen trading. We have a lot of mighty claws. We can sell these ghettos because we know we can get more. Uh, these only sell for one, so maybe not even worth it. This ghetto sells for much more. Um, I guess we can grind for frogs now. Mm. That's such a mellow sound for a music box to have. It's nice. Nah. I have too much to do to watch at length, but this is so cool, I think that along with Rot, I will buy- yes! It just came out, so... Um, it is on Steam right now. You can also get it on mobile, I think, if you want. I kind of feel like this would work well on, like, a tablet screen. 
tapping around. Um, I don't know. We don't really need to fuel up yet. Let's go find a fishing spot right here. Stretch, hydrate, and awu. What, to that music? for the stretch and the hydrate. Ilya. I made steamed pork buns. They look odd, but are fluffy and good. Yum. I hope you enjoy them. There's a new note here where uh, that guy was. What's done is done. Damn. Damn. Let's get some ghetto. You missed it. What? Bullshit. Albino ghetto. Fishing mini game is very strange. What a ghetto. I will eat 50 of them. Did you make 50? <laughs> Hello, Riley. A more unsettling PC horror game than System Shock 2. I love to see it. You know, System Shock 2 is pretty creepy. I remember when I first played that as like a teenager, it was like one of the scariest games I had ever played. In large part because enemies respawned and they could come attack you while you were using your inventory. <laughs> Very scary. I never finished that game though. I wonder if the albino is like uh, worth significantly more. Alright. Go down. So I can get you down. Oh god. Hey, reel him in. Yes. Oh! Look at that guy! Rusty frog. Cool. We finally caught a different kind of frog. We lost the bait. Oh, too bad. Well, what are we gonna do without one of our 120 frogs or crabs, whatever? All right, let's try and sell um, that albino ghetto. What do you want to exchange? Albino. A hundred. Yes. 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 Yes! Alright, so now we can probably afford that uh, upgrade. Let's go get that. How exciting. <laughs> it's just like the bare mechanics behind a fishing game with no dressing. Yeah, it's a... kind of odd that there's so much emphasis on the fishing. Um. Yeah, let's go up to the top floor. Then we should probably go buy some fuel. And then let's go fish. Try to get some new kinds of fish. Jackport. <laughs> Jackport. We're rich. I wonder if Gedo is just a tadpole or something. I wonder. I wonder. I want to customize my body. Modify. 
Oh, we got slightly more ego capacity. Engine power increased. Your ego increased by 10%. Right, we need a large diameter carburetor and an exhaust collecting pipe. Parts that enable high power are attached. You need a large diameter carburetor and an exhaust collecting pipe. Okay, so we need a large carburetor and exhaust pipe. And we also need, okay, you'll be able to Fish frogs that tug more strongly. If your body is tuned to this stage, you'll probably be able to catch various types of frogs. Alright. We also need 800 stamps on top of that. Uh, we should also try and get a bigger reserve tank, I think. You think these things feel pain? The robots? It's hard to say. I was not prepared for the gameplay to be like this. What were you expecting? I guess... I was expecting more of a very normal, like, relatively speaking, point-and-click game. They feel alienation. Yeah, I guess they feel like a psychological pain. What happens if we talk to this guy behind the counter again? Maybe he'll ask us to get more... Okay, you can be curious all you want, but don't ask me. I'm satisfied living here with Liz. You must be crazy, willingly wanting to know about things in the first place. It's like you're out looking for trouble. You're crazy. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to go that way. No! Ah! I want to click on this. Hello. Yeah, hi Liz. Nice to see you again. Thank you for coming. And... I wonder if there's... I wonder what we can catch now. Oh, hello. What do you want? Let's talk about fishing talk. Fishing is great. I caught a crab eater at the back of Fukuju apartment the other day. Okay, it was pretty big. It pulled so strong that my rod shook hard. I gave the crab eater to Chio. It's no fun to feed it to juice. What? Most of the frogs exchanged at Seeker's shop become juices foods. To juice, it doesn't matter if it's a crab or a frog. I heard that they are made into a gooey liquid with a blender and then poured into her mouth. Is that so? I'll tell you something good. I used to have a black bottle trap, but sometimes mysterious things were caught in it. Mysterious things that were not crabs or frogs. Since it was useless for fishing and a little creepy, I threw it away. <laughs> fishing is great. I caught a crab eater. Alright, we already, we already saw that. Uh, let's try let's try fishing with a new kind of bait with the root mimic. We have not been able to catch anything with this so far. Oh come on, go down. No. Slowly reeling it in. Whoops, that was kind of close. Alright. Cut a mock root. That sound effect? <laughs> that was so good! <sighs> I was expecting this to be another director game, basically. Yeah, I guess that's kind of what I was expecting as well. Can't decide if the gameplay feels like a begrudging addition or not. It makes me want to play it though. Yeah, there's some there's some satisfaction in collecting all the little things and stuff. The artist has a drawing from before the game came out that looks like the exact same environments and beings, but fully organic. You mean like just like fully hand drawn? It said 1993. Before the game came out or originally? Or their re-release. This is a 90s game. Huh. When did this game come out, even? 
Rod shook hard, punch rock glow. Those are the guys. Cool guy, yeah, I like that frog. He's neat looking. Uh, let's try, let's try catching frog imitator. With frog hook number three. Yep, we seem to have enough power. Makru, you found fish hook number two inside its stomach. That's kind of horrible. <laughs> like limbless human beings doing the fueling thing. Ah. I'll post their Twitter in the game and FAQs. Okay, thank you. Reading into it, supposedly this was a very rare game even when it first launched in 1999. Very few copies were produced and sold and remained obscure until it was brought up in an auction thread on 4chan. Yeah, and it's, I guess, uh, somebody got this remaster to happen. I looked up Ghetto on Jisho and it has a religious origin but basically means wretch. Okay. Also means a type of fish one didn't mean to catch. Ah, <laughs> I see. The lowest tier of fish. This fishing is... It's kind of weird. I wouldn't say it's exactly, like, good, but... You lost the bait. Oh, that's too bad. Well, let's go see what does Mock Root sell for. We should probably save sometime soon as well. Hi. Um, Mock Root. Wow, these sell for a lot. 195. Not bad. Um, how much did the reserve fuel tanks cost? Because those seem to be the biggest way to... Uh, I mean, they... We need, we need fuel. That's what I'm trying to say. It seems to be very important to not constantly having the gameplay interrupted by having to go find fueling station. Reminds you of a Japan-only PC point-and-click adventure game called Void, very similar in style to Myst. I've not heard of that. I remember just like in the last 10 years, when I found out about this game, there was almost zero information on it in English anywhere. When did the fan translation get... get made? There was a couple of basic playthroughs on YouTube of the Japanese version, but since so much of it is text, it was indecipherable. Uh, and they didn't put like a closed captions translation or anything? Okay, so we need 500 to get the reserve tank small. Oh my god, and these cost... So, to get to the next level of power upgrade, we need 2300 stamps in total. God damn! Alright. I think a few years ago? Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we might as well try and advance the plot some. Let's uh, go get our ego increased so that we don't become word lost. I think that the Ego Clinic is right here. No, this is the apartments. The Ego Clinic is this way. I'm like, very slowly coming to grips with the arrangement of this area over time. It's like, something about the way that the camera angle flips when you travel between the inner and outer tracks can be kind of confusing. Let's just get a uh, the, the Ego Recovering Machine. Since it costs less. Just go into this pod. They don't show you what happens. They, they, when you go on the carousel, they show you in the carousel. But, um, 
We want to go to Seiryu Apartments, which is on the inner track. This way, I think. Past uh, Hajime's house. Oh, yeah, we should probably save, too. It's really crazy, oh, even in a game where you're going around on rails, it's easy to get, like, sidetracked and think, like, oh, I should go do this, I should go do this, and then you end up doing, like, nothing that you were intending to. <laughs> Normally, most of these obscure Japan-only games would be relegated to something from the PS1 or Saturn library, not often when we come across something like this on the PC library. Yeah, I guess, like, PC gaming is not quite as uh, popular. In Japan, from what I understand. You know, Shun, he used to live in the room you're living in now. I wonder where he went. He liked asking questions, just like you. Such a weird hobby. Maybe machines like you are called active. Even though you guys are right in front of me, I feel like that you're somewhere far away. But from your eyes, maybe we're the ones that look far away. I don't like faraway places. I like places that are nearby. Why? Okay. Where is... Well, there's the other fueling station. I think that Seiryu Apartments is right here. Yes. Let's go in and see if we can talk to... What's his name? Yasan? The guy who... knew Doku, I think? Doku? Heh. <laughs> Tasan. Not Yasan. Tasan. So, we didn't need to talk to him. Who... Was it the guy on the uh, the second floor that we needed to bring the score to? There's like a hallway on the second floor that we went down. I think there might also be a completely different hallway, or like a different elevator in this building that we haven't even gone into yet. It's quite a doozy. I don't need to see what happens inside the pod. Sensory deprivation. What do you think that crotch thing is for? What do you mean? On our character? You mean this? I guess you and the fishermen are like the only robots who move around. Everybody else is just kind of around. They're like in one place. I feel like PC gaming had a brief heyday in Japan, but I haven't looked into it super hard. I mean, there's like a... <sighs> there's obviously like PC 98 and stuff. I guess I'm thinking of like Windows PC, which is uh, mostly, I suppose, like a Dojin software kind of thing a lot of the time. Crab Eater, the back of Fukuju Apartments. I hear that albino frogs are delicious. If that's true, not just female machines, but also frogs might think so too. Okay, so you can use albino frogs to catch other frogs, I suppose. Seems to be asleep. A topic for Macaw to answer. Find the score. Okay, yes. Alright, so Han. Glad to hear that. <laughs> There's little chance that it is there, but since I found this, I will give this to you. It's the key to the water tower next to the Seiryu apartment. It was used as a warehouse. What? <laughs> so, if, if I didn't answer that, I would never have gotten that? I think this leads to the water tower. I believe so. Down here. There's also another fishing spot here. Where... What was it? A guy found a frog eater down here. Let's try using a frog imitator. Jesus Christ. Alright. 
also their mock roots. Oh well. Given PC98 and everything. I guess it was just a different type of game that was popular on PCs, I think. More towards like VN and adventure side of things, which this fits in well with, yes. I mean, VNs are obviously been popular on PC platforms for a long time. Key to the water tower. Alright, so this is not the water tower. Um, I guess we can try fishing again. I kind of don't, I'm not that big a fan of this fishing. But, okay. What is this? Egghead? What, what do you think we can catch with that? Oh, you didn't catch anything. Maybe there's just nothing here that eats that. I wonder what happens if we use a mock loot as a uh, bait. Oh, you don't have enough power to fish it. You lost the hook. Alright, crap. We only had three of those hooks. Alright, well, whatever. The critical reception sen section of the Wikipedia article is one sentence long. Hardcore Gaming 101 deemed Garage a profoundly uncomfortable game to look at due to its unsettling nature. I mean, I don't think it's that uncomfortable to look at. It's certainly, it's not like it's designed to be like pleasurable to look at, but I don't know. It's not exactly outright like repellent either. What was up here? There was like a locked door up here, right? Alright, room 8. Right. I wonder if... I should probably just try and find the, the water tower. So, was, was the sheep song what we need to play to get into the laboratory? Is that why we wanted it? I'm, I'm kind of remembering that now. HG 101 articles are so hit and miss. Yeah, some of them, you can kind of tell that they didn't even really, like, bother to engage with the game. Oh, there's... I think this is the water tower. Right. Okay. Unlocked the water tower. Test print one. We got... we got our loot box. And... more posters. And this? Ego destroying show second half. Oh, these are all just posters. Test print one. Two headed machine blue letters. Crab butter. Fish hook number four. Fish hook number two. Bottle trap medium. Great. Hey. Uh, yeah, let's set up a bottle trap medium with gold bait. Great. Um. We should probably also go check our bottle traps near the, um, the apartments here. Yeah. Caught many crabs. About a hundred stamps for caught many crabs. Red eggheads. Wow. Lots of love was put into this. Speaking of obscure, I found another obscure PS1 Japan only horror game called Kowloon's Gate. Yes, I was talking about this earlier. And, uh. Yeah, the Garage JP Wiki article says that Kowloon's Gate and Baroque are the big three bewildering games. Yeah, it's, um. This is what I was talking about earlier is on Melt Banana, the noise rock band's, like, Patreon, or, like, a Japanese band. They made a post, like, just last night about how, like, uh. This and Kowloon's Gate and Baroque are like the three distorted games, like or something like that is like the phrasing that they used. I didn't really know what that meant, but I guess that's what that's referring to. Honestly, this is not an ugly game. Yeah, it's kind of like weirdly 
don't know how to phrase it. It feels kind of cozy after you get used to it. Do you think anything was caught here yet? Uh, we'll leave it for a little while still. Um, maybe we should fuel up. But we can still manage to go for a while. Now, where is the laboratory, though? Should we go talk to Bulkanira? I don't know. Maybe he can tell us about how to get the, the bearings and stuff to upgrade our whatever that thing was, our, our feet. I just want to walk around in this place. Well, you'll probably be forced to install some wheels on yourself. Fishing is great. I caught a crab eater. Okay. Fishing talk. If you're going to use a large hook, you should get your body modified at Morikawa's place first. If you don't, the frog will get away easily and you'll lose your precious hook. Bulletin board? Why are you asking me? There is something incomprehensible about you. <laughs> Every toy used to come with a simple song. The sounds added life to the toys. Sound has magical powers. While making toys with music, I was fascinated by the device that produced the sound itself. And so, I made the music box. Lao came up with the idea of carousel when he saw the music box I made. Oh, why don't you create a score yourself? Since you own a music box, you should have your own score. I just happen to have a piece of score paper right here. There is nothing difficult to it. You just have to punch holes in the paper according to the melody that comes to mind. Here, use this to punch this punch to make holes. Come on, try it. What is the first note? Then punch here. Then here. Yes, that's you're doing great. Wonderful, you did it. Let's try playing it. That's a pretty nice song. <laughs> huh. This is a nice, very a nice song. Very nice. Received my score. I wonder what we need that for. Or if it's just for fun. Okay, so that's all we can do here. We got a new item. Um, I love how this sounds. It's very cool. Uh, Boards of Canada ass V ice T. Yes. Yes. Uh, I wonder if we can pull up the medium bottle trap yet. I'm kind of curious to see what we might get from that. There's that crusher again. And this is where the milky fuel station is. That's the apartments. Oh, yeah, we still haven't gone up that one elevator. <clears throat> we do need to refuel though. Have we already been to this? I think I might have seen a bulletin board somewhere else that we haven't looked at yet, but I can't remember. Let's, let's get refueled. And stamps for a fuel up. Yes. Um, now how about you this time? Reiko. Where was that? It was over at the water tower, I think. Around the corner. We'll check out the bottle trap. And then I think I want to try going to the second floor of the Sadio Apartments building that we haven't seen yet. Seems like we caught about the same amount of stuff with the medium trap and the gold bait. I guess that gold bait gives you a chance to get double. Whoops. Hey! Okay, I think that we would probably die if we went in that. <laughs> let's not, let's not risk it. I don't think we ever saw that screen before. Huh. I kind of want to like, get to another 
chapter title and then maybe switch to infra. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! Where where is this going to? Sorting area. Is this the laboratory? Calvin's Gate had a BR remake for PS4. Available in English on the Hong Kong PlayStation Store for $20. Wow. I don't have a VR headset or anything like that, so... Um... Oh! This is the factory! We found it. Let's see what's down here. Fascinating. Some machines. Some creepy sounds. Factory. Wow. Oh, we can go up? Not sure, why not? What's over here? Look. Maybe eventually we can turn this thing and it will let us go across. Okay, I can't quit it. What is that? Am I enjoying it? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I enjoy doing that. Oh. I think I've read you can play that without VR. I'm not sure. I mentioned that on the game suggestion channel long ago. Yeah, the Kowloon's Gate. Oops, I didn't mean to go that way. I guess I would be curious about that. I'd probably be more interested in like the original, but you know, you can take what you can get. It's like how there's like a fan translation and like that bizarre iOS translation of uh, Kametachi no Yoru, but if you can't play like the Super Famicom version in English. Ha, son. Every day there is so much to do, but I am work and work is me. Work is me. This is vibratory separator. It sorts sewage by vibration. Sorted sewage is left in tank to settle. Heavy objects sink. Light objects float. Large things remain on the net. Small things slip through the net. This is repeated over and over again. Sometimes mechanical parts are found. Tube-like ones, disc-like ones. Stick-like ones, plate-like ones, and ones I don't know what it's for. Hmm. Where can I get these parts? Uh, up. Looks like there might be a note right there. Why do you interrupt our work? We're working, you know. Can't you see? We have to work, because that's the reason we exist. We have to work. This is the water tower. It pumps up sewage water. It pumps up everything. All sorts of things are pumped up. Sometimes it makes a rumbling or rattling sound. Sometimes it's light. Sometimes it's heavy. Sometimes it's sticky. Sometimes it's smooth. I would just watch it all day. I lower the pump's gear ratio when it's heavy, and I raise the pump's gear ratio when it's light. I just keep watching it. Okay. Oh. I can't control myself. I can't control my vicious self. My emotion gets ahead of myself and I'm dragged out by it. Me who has been dragged out is bare. So, it seems like we've explored all of this that we can so far. I am work. Work is me. Ah, that's the kind of alienation this game is about. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Uh, we were on a roll with Saturn translations for a while. Maybe the translation group was taking a break or something that was behind all that. Who knows? 
That was my first ever Super Famicom game. I still have that cart somewhere. Very interesting light novel kind of game. Yeah, I'd like to play it sometime. I like the backgrounds and the way that everybody in it is like a weird, uh, like silhouette. Very interesting kind of game. Okay, another elevator. Heavy cargo lift of the sorting area. Because this lift is for transporting heavy cargoes, it requires large power to activate and consumes a great amount of milky fuel. Make sure to check your motor limit before using it. Alright, maybe we should not mess with that. Because... I wonder... So... Is that implying that the elevators operate under the power of our engine? Score the sheep song. Hey, hey, we got in the laboratory. Oh, my God. After hearing about it for so long, we're finally here. Cool. Uh, what are you doing? What I do is none of your business. What you do is none of my business. Okay. <laughs> Laboratory hype! So... It seems like we can get into the back of the milky fuel station from here. And who knows where that goes to. And we can also get over to Bokanero Toy Works. Maybe? I don't know if those things are necessarily connected or if it's just showing that they are nearby. Hmm. Who are you? Oh, it's you. Uh. Alright. This, this guy wants nothing to do with us. Hack into the fuel station. I can't imagine this game without that map. Was it not in the game originally? I have to wonder. Oh, a book. Oh, reading. The following are some of the matters that have been discovered about the sewage thus far. 1. Sewage is waste produced by female machines, however, it is known that the component of the sewage varies slightly with each machine. It's thought that due to the difference in the types of aquatic machines they have ingested. Also, ego-recovering liquid is acquired by putri purifying sewage. However, to be exact, it seems that there is su sewage highly effective or not so effective for each machine. If we could purify and produce ego-recovering liquid that is most suitable for each machine, I believe we can produce it, boost its effectiveness dramatically. Sewage is the origin of every being. Everything is generated from sewage. Or you can say that everything can be generated from the sewage. It is an astonishing fact that everything, including every aquatic machine, mechanical part, machine, and root, are generated from the sewage. Perhaps the sewage has its own will. It may be on a different plane than the will we imagine. But we cannot explain its functions unless we assume that it has its own will. I think we can say that we are all but children of the sewage in different forms, yeah. Uh, 3. Sewage's vaporizing component includes elements essential for maintaining the ego level. Therefore, we cannot live away from the sewage. We machines are dependent on the sewage. We who were given birth by the sewage cannot live far away from it, and can only return to it. Except one possibility. What? You got the research report concerning the sewage. Alright. Information. Oh my god, we're drinking poop. Well, uh, I mean, it's... It's what's left over from the milk producing process? Maybe poop is sentient. It could be. Could be. What's in here? Shadows are our alter ego, or the other half. There are several phases to shadows. The most often seen shadows are what I call the original shadows. They are the shadows born into the world of Garage, and at their first phase. 
It is the base phase, and from this phase, the shadow changes in several ways. It is well known that the shadows eventually evaporate if they spend a long time in this world, but through the observation by an aura scope, we discover it does not necessarily mean that they have disappeared completely. I call this phase the ethereal shadow. An ethereal shadow is what might be called an impersonal shadow. Its characteristic is that it has no name. An ethereal shadow is a shadow that has given up being someone's shadow. There are also shadows that change in an opposite way, however a special catalyst is necessary for this change to occur. It can't change by itself. That is the duty of us machines. Got some thoughts concerning shadows. My head is just like spinning with everything that's happening in this game. We seem to be... Like, our character seems to be looking for someone named Psyche, which people seem to be remarking is a shadow, but I'm not sure. Hydrate, thank you. If you're a robot, it's okay to drink sentient poop. Yeah, it's fine. You can do that if you want, if you're a machine. I mean, it seems like they can't even taste anything, so... Milky fuel station stamp 700. We can afford that fuel tank now. Okay. What is this? Bridge? Press one. All right, so stopped all press machines. Round baked silver. All right, so this, this is what makes it possible for us to get to I wonder what the bridge is. Is that maybe the bridge that was over by that one, like, pipe thing? Could be. Uh, what's down from here? So, hey! Where are we now? Alright, now we're on the track over here, so we don't have to go all the way through the apartments every time from now on. What a development. And now the presses are turned off. All right, let's, let's go back into the lab and explore what we can. Oh, hey. New posters. Something about collecting those is, like, uh, pretty satisfying. Got premium ego recovering liquid. Great. I guess that's there because there's so much conversation you can do in this area. This is just like Dark Souls. It's pretty cool unlocking shortcuts like that. This game is very strangely satisfying to play. Oh, thank you for the stretch also, Ellie. Frog is a brand? I mean, frogs, I think it's like oil made from frogs, maybe? It's hard to say. What is this? Oh! Visited the lighthouse. We got a lot of stamps from that. Hi. What is this place? Michio's shadow. You're scaring me. Don't come near me. Oh, I'm sorry. A puppet. A puppet is here. This is fucking awesome! You don't need to know. You're not supposed to know. Sean's shadow. Who is this? Reiko. So these are the shadows of the women that are in the the milky fueling station. What? Where does this go? Oh my lord. <laughs> we saw these on the posters. Yeah, there too. Lighthouse. 
Why do I feel so insecure? What is haunting me? Power is welling up inside me, but I have no place to be. I am crushed by my own power. Are these humans remote controlling them? It's hard to say. I guess we'll find out. We'll figure it out over time. We got a bunch of stamps. We are like loaded with stamps now. Uh, does the sheep song open this? No. Does my score open this? No. Volcanero's score? No. Alright, so we'll eventually probably find another music box score for that. Some normal guys. Highly normal guys. We're getting a bit low on fuel. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but we'll probably be fine. Looks like there's uh, the gondola that comes from the Seiryu apartments. Seems like that's how we got to the factory in the first place. This game is way more than I ever even imagined. Hi. Psyche! It's her! I've been waiting for you. So, you want to know about shadows, but I have just gotten used to your wavelength. I still need a little more time. Meanwhile, there's something I want you to do. I want you to recover something for me. My dream diary. Go see Vis, the manager of the Seiryu apartment, and borrow one of the apartment's rooms. You'll find a letter and a telescope in the left drawer. You should be able to borrow a room if you give this letter to Vis. Okay, so this is for that letter slot. You understand? Yes, I'm counting on you. We received Psyche's letter and the telescope. Psyche's dream diary, chapter 5. Oh man. So, we have the, the letter now. I can go through the post slot in uh, the apartment building. This is so fucking cool. I can't even believe. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone posting booba in chat. She did. She did have exposed boobs there. This is very awesome. <laughs> like I knew that this game was gonna be like unusual and fascinating, but I kind of didn't imagine that it would be so like like this cool. Hmm. Milky fuel station two F. That doesn't work. Okaneros does not work. My score does not work. So we have two music box doors that we can't open here. Oh, it makes me so sad to imagine that this game was just like languishing in obscurity for so long. It's very unique and special. Like, we need to fuel up like very badly. <laughs> but it shouldn't be any problem. Let's go this way and switch tracks. I don't have any other keys right now. I need to switch tracks. How close is the... Uh... Alright, so there's the Milky Fuel Station. It's like two, two stops away on this track. I think we can make it. I hope we can make it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Barely. Word lost. Oh! Fuck, we can't even buy fuel because we don't- oh no, we don't have ego. Um, alright. Tool. Let's- Well, we have more portable fuel than we have portable ego recovering liquid, so let's use the fuel. How much is that gonna fuel us? Alright, let's use that to go recover our ego, and then we'll come back here and recover our, uh, our fuel. Because the carousel's just down the street. <laughs> you didn't imagine that it would have banging titties, yes. 
Who could have imagined that? No one could foresee this. Let's go on the carousel. You get a game over if you run out of one of those? Yeah, because I think your ego, like, if you run out of it, it's like your entire self disappears. And if you run out of fuel, your body just falls apart. <laughs> oh. Is this like a boobs thing? It may very well be. Monday morning star. I think I got glue in my eye. Oh, I can only be cured by you eating some M&Ms. Oh, <laughs> Ilya. <laughs> Fine. How did you get glue in your eye? Hello, Volti. Hello, Dodo. Welcome. Graffy's glasses. Yes. Hmm. There used to be a girl named Juice. She was small but mysterious. She had a strong something that made you feel like you'll be drawn into her and disappear when she stood in front of you. When she came before me, it made me feel like I'm a lesser existence than dust. It's not a good feeling. It feels dark and scary. Once I'm drawn into it, I'll never be able to come out again. Just when this thought came to me, I lost my vision. Interesting. Alright, let's go get a new fuel tank. We have plenty of money now. That line read made me burst out laughing on the other side of the room. What? Ilya talking about getting glue in her eye? I started model making again. Are you having fun? David Schwimmer voice juice. I don't know who David Schwimmer is. I don't know. This is the game people make if they weren't breastfed. <laughs> Bizarre new Ilya stat strat. Well, I mean, it did work. Can you blame her? Yeah, it's fun. I want to paint with paintbrush again. Hey, we can afford the medium tank, but maybe we should... Uh, I don't think we can afford the carburetor and the exhaust pipe and the surgery, so let's just get... Let's just get this for now, and save our the rest of our stamps for the moment. I'm sure we'll be finding more stamps, plenty, like around. I want to paint with paintbrush again, Ilya dead. Ilya is making Warhammer 40k armor. Of the radio's sound goes static at some point. It seems to be just like from some kind of like environmental radio or something. Hello, Morikawa. Yeah, customize my body. Modify. Wow, that's a sizable increase in our fuel capacity. Great. <laughs> it's just attached to the back of our head. He played Ross on Friend. Was Rob Kardashian in that one O.J. Simpson drum I never watched and I saw the compilation of him saying Juice. I have not seen any of these things. <laughs> Who are you collecting, Ufi? Yeah, we don't know what we need for this just yet. Damn. Collecting? I'm doing night cleaning. Ah, her horse feed bag. If I was a horse, I would definitely want to have a feed bag full of M&Ms. Oh, I went to the wrong floor.
probably better off having not seen friend. I mean, it just doesn't hold any kind of interest for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pull up the bottle trap. We'll set the bottle trap again. Is there? Yeah, there's nothing on this. Um, let's pull up our other bottle trap. Oh, we are seeming to get way less uh, with this bottle trap. With uh, with no bait on it, specifically. Let's go down and get our medium bottle trap that we put down here. We got uh, quite a few things this time. So the medium bottle trap with the gold label. And why don't we go into the Seiryu apartments again and we have a ton of posters we can give to that one poster freak guy with the bugged out eyes. Let's go talk to that dude. I keep thinking like, oh, I'll just take a break from playing this game soon, but then it's it's like so weirdly like en enchanting. <laughs> just can't stop playing it. Poor juice. I can't do anything today. Oh no, can't do anything. My hands, they're just hanging, just heavy. And my head is just sitting on top of my body, just heavy. I have things I have to do, but they're too heavy to move. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. What is the synopsis of this game? I don't know how to explain it to you. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, will you give me one of your crab butter red cans? Okay. Hand it over crab butter red can. Thank you. Now I can work tomorrow. Okay. No, well, I don't think it takes place in China, but there are some Chinese names like uh, sprinkled throughout. I guess we'll just wait here for a moment until that guy's apartment opens up. <laughs> Synopsis of this game, machines shit and come. Yes, that is true. Graphy is a special kind of horse. <laughs> we have to play Infra at some point. I just want to wrap up doing a few little things before we do that. Hey, I have so many rare printed materials for you, man. Give me all of your fishing hooks. Your two-headed machine. Your fishing hooks. Your bottle traps. And we got another medium bottle trap. Great. Premium ego recovering liquid. Ego recovering liquid. Crab butter blue label. More fishing hooks. Bates, Bates, Mounds Bates Gold Label, Crab Butter, what does Crab Butter even do? Best Prince, okay, we got more, more big uh, bottle traps, that's good. Great, thank you Torlop. Um, what? What is this? No, I don't want to use it, does Crab Butter recover Ego? I, I just don't even know what it does. And like frog oil? I don't know what any of this shit does. <laughs> it's butter for crabs. Ah, of course. We could go submit that letter while we're here, but I don't know. I should probably just save now. I just keep wanting to play more. Is there any new posters here? No, that's been milked dry. Let's set up bottle trap.
We're gonna have so many bottle traps set up all over the city. Set this one. The next here's one next to the carousel I think that's all of our traps set up so why don't we go back to our house and we'll just save and we'll call this good for today so I've been playing this for a while I love this game this is really good there's maybe a, a bit of tedium, but you know, it's not like we've never played a game before where you have to constantly go back and get fuel. <laughs> thinking of, uh, thinking of the note. Remember that? The oil in the watch room will run out soon. Who, who could, who could forget that? Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more of this game. Probably, I'll probably play this on Wednesday. <laughs> You are always a damn sea and say toy, you barnyard animal, you. What do you mean? What? Winnie. What are you, what are you woozying about, huh? For that. Don't talk to me until I've had my crab butter red can. That's how we all start the game. Start the day. The fish in automata. We're machines too. There's some in Warframe too. I wonder if there's precedent for it. I mean, I kind of, I don't know if it's, are they even machines though? Because maybe, maybe because we are machines and our concept of a life form is a machine, we're calling the fish machines, aquatic machines, because we just don't even know about like organic life forms being like weird ass machines that look like this. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to say. I don't feel like aquatic machines are really machines if you can turn them into fuel. Yeah, exactly. This game makes graphite questioning about life in general. It is pretty existential, yes. No, nothing. Very interesting game. 10 out of 10 for being interesting. I mean, I'm finding the, the art is fascinating, the music. Um, the very odd way that we have to kind of like figure out what everything is and what's going on in this world is cool. Uh, the strange like rail track system. The ego and fuel concept is fun. I don't know. I'm having a really good time with this game and I'm very glad I decided to pick it up. I was kind of iffy about this. Like I think the first time that somebody mentioned it to me, I looked it up and I was like, yeah, it looks okay. I don't know if I would really be into this game though. No. Graphite was very into the game. This is Chibi Robo with the exact opposite vibe. <laughs> when they call human bodies shadows, yeah. Looking forward to seeing the VOD and see more of this silly guy on a rail. It seems like it's starting to pick up now that we're getting a little bit more of our capacity to go around and like, you know, our, our range is getting increased. Our ability to go out and, and be out and about and exploring for longer is increasing. So I think the things will start to pick up more next time. This first part, I was kind of getting my bearings and figuring out where stuff is, but I've got a pretty good idea of where things are at this point. So looks, it took like three or four links being dropped. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, a lot of people posted this in the game FAQ's channel on the Discord server, and uh, I think everyone was very spot on <laughs> with like rushing there to post it. So thanks everyone. After after so many people posted it, I was like, yeah, maybe I should just get this. <laughs> everybody everybody thinks immediately. Oh, Graphite should look at this. So thanks to everyone who posted about it, because I don't think I had ever heard about this game before. Um, 
or I think that it was mentioned sometime last year, but there was no good way to play it at that time, except for on like iOS or something. Um, it was a nice surprise, yes. I had no idea what to expect from this, <laughs> in the slightest. But um, yeah, I had a, I had a great time with this, and uh, I hope that it, uh, it's enjoyable to watch as well. And so now I think I'll take a quick break, and then we'll switch over to Infra, and try and get through some of that. And hopefully the next level of Infra is a little bit more interesting than yesterday's, like, insanely dark, flooded tunnel level. Even though I did like the insane rafting segment, which was just like I <laughs> just ridiculous. Uh, how do I get out of this game? Oh, wait. Did we get any other achievements? Portable milky fuel. Searched all places. Okay, we get achievement for giving items to Hasan. Who even is Sudu? I don't remember this guy at all. Oh no, this is. I think this is uh, the wife of. Uh, what's his name? The guy who doesn't talk. I can't remember his name. I think that she's the one who asked us for the Gedo when we had it. So maybe we should try carrying more frogs around, loose loose pocket frogs to uh, give to her. Telling Inusan about mis mysterious things? I don't even remember where this guy was. Um, rode the boat? I guess we're getting spoiled on some stuff by looking at this. Anyway, let's exit the game for now. Fun. Good times. Hey Dragonic Dude, we're just about to take a break um, before changing to Infra, so um, let me, I guess I'll go ahead and just change the, the title of the stream. <clears throat> oh, my throat is a little bit fried from all the reading in this game, so hopefully there won't be too much reading to do in Infra today. Oh good, I thought you were ending for a sec. No, no. Just going into the second half of things. Uh, at some point I'll have to stop because I need to take my friends to the grocery store tonight. Redeemed hydrate, thank you. Is it a top three distorted game so far? I will say I enjoyed this a lot more than what I've seen of Baroque. I don't dislike Baroque, but I'm having a way more like a good time <laughs> with this game. <sighs> oh, you didn't know? This infra level is at the local library. What? What are you talking about? She is helpful, sister. I try. I try. Some walking around frogs. Yeah, we all need those. Anyway, um, I'll be back. I'll be back in just a minute. And, um, yeah. Oh, she's implying I'll be reading a lot. I get it now. <laughs> okay. I completely forgot what I said right after I said it. Okay, I'll be right back.
Boo. Hello, everyone. I'm checking to see if I have any text messages or anything. Welcome back. Thank you. You know, I was just thinking that uh, that song in that game uh, that was like the organ. It was like it sounded like a reed organ or like a accordion or something. It was just like those two organ chords I was playing. It reminds me of the Nick Cave song "Black Hair," which also is very. Whoops! I just posted completely wrong message. Or switching to infra. It's off of. What's the album called? It's one that has Into My Arms and The Lime Tree Arbor and all those songs. I don't know. I don't know if there's even any Nick Cave fans in chat. Did y'all know cockroaches can fly? Yeah, German cockroaches. Right? They got big ass wings. Yes. Like that. All right. I'm kind of hungry, but. The boatman's call, apparently. That's right. I've completely slipped my mind. Which I did not yet listen to. It's kind of an odd album. It's like very different from a lot of his other stuff. And a lot of the songs on it are really... Uh, like, unusual? <laughs> I don't know. 